So I'm going to answer the question, why most people fail with sports cards? And a simple answer to that is, people think sports cards are like a stock. So let me give you an example. Someone like LaMelo Ball, okay, who was drafted this past year, people will buy his cards when he gets drafted, hope he becomes a great player and sell him for more down the line. Kind of like a stock, right? You could invest in Amazon or Google, and if these companies perform well, you could, their stocks will go up and you could sell them for more. However, the reality of sports and sports cards is that most players end up failing, right? Think about it. Scouts in the NBA, MLB, maybe predict one out of 10 players being good and becoming a star. If they dedicate their whole lives to doing that, how are you gonna predict who the next star is? I'd be lying if I, if I could tell you I could. However, the predictable, consistent way to make money in sports cards is actually very lucrative. I'm gonna show you how. So the sports card market is very, very volatile, okay? And there's wild swings. So what happens is, right now when I'm speaking, it's in early June. So what's happening in early June? We have the NBA playoffs going on, we have the NHL playoffs going on, baseball's going on. So what does that mean? The football market is down. The demand for football is lower. Since the demand for football is lower, the prices drop. And you could buy cards like this. I bought this last week for about $800, okay? And when the football market heats up in early August, middle August, when it gets later into August, the demand starts to build, the prices start to go up, and I'm gonna sell this card for roughly anywhere from about $1,500 to $1,600. So what does that mean? I'm gonna make about a 70 to 80% return in a matter of a couple months. And I want you to think about how significant that is, right? You could invest in real estate or stocks and make maybe 15 to 20% in a year, and you're jumping for joy. My students and I make about 70 to 80% every couple months because we're in a more lucrative industry, right? Sports cards is newer. If you get into a newer market that's not saturated and you have the correct information, you can make big, big returns like this. Will it be like this in 10, 15, 20 years? I'm not sure, but at the moment, there's just massive returns to be made. So I hope that clears up the question, you know, why most people fail in sports cards, and I look forward to speaking with you on the call.